let knowledge flow like a river without any hindrance. Don't make it like a stagnant pool. Design of nine piles cap by few clicks. It is part eight. Hello everybody. I am PS Chatterjee with you. Request to my viewer. As you know, to keep your channel alive, it requires 1000 subscriber and 4000 organic watch hour within a year. Regarding the organic watching hour, your channel is far behind the target and only you can provide this. Please invest your time in watching my video and also by sharing the link of my channel as many as possible. I can assure you that your investment will not go to waste. I have lot of ideas to share with you. Now I am going to explain how we can prepare Excel for form for the design of 9 pile cap. I hope you are going to enjoy this video. 9 piles cap. In Excel you will find it as type 14. If you are watching my video first time and you are interested in pile cap design, please start from part 1 for more information. As usual, pile cap dimension. Length is equal to LA, width is equal to LB. Spacing of pile is equal to S. Column dimension CX in X direction, CZ in Z direction, dimension of punching area. BX in X direction is equal to 2 into D punch plus CX. BZ in Z direction is equal to 2 into D punch plus CZ. Overall depth is equal to D. Punching depth is equal to D punch. Punching load is equal to column load is equal to FY. For pile cap with 5 pile, 7 pile and 9 pile, punching load will be FY minus FY by N, where N is equal to number of pile. Leverum for type 14, that is 9 pile cap. In X direction, JX is equal to S. In Z direction, ZZ is equal to S. Load on pile cap for type 14. Total self weight is equal to capital SW. Self weight on each pile is equal to small SW is equal to capital SW divided by 9. So load on P1, P3, P7, and P9 is equal to R1. R1 max is equal to small sw plus fy by 9 plus absolute mx by zz by 3 plus absolute mz divided by jx by 3 r1 minimum is equal to small sw plus fy by 9 minus absolute mx by zz by 3 plus absolute mz divided by jx by 3. Now load on P5, that is central pile, is equal to Fy by 9. So load on P2 and P8 is equal to R2. R2 max is equal to small sw, plus Fy by 9 plus absolute Mx by Zz divided by 3. R2 minimum is equal to small sw plus Fy by 9 minus absolute Mz by Zz divided by 3. So load on P4 and P6 is equal to R3. R3 max is equal to small sw plus Fy by 9 plus absolute Mz by Zx by 3. R3 minimum is equal to SW 
plus Fy by 9 minus absolute Mz by Zx by 3. Shear force and bending moment for type 14. Maximum shear force V is equal to 2 into R1 max plus R2 max. Maximum bending moment Mx is equal to S into 2 into R1 max plus R2 max. Maximum SF in Z direction 2 into R2 max plus R3 max. Maximum BM is equal to MZ is equal to S into 2 into R2 max plus R3 max. Now I am switching over to the Excel spreadsheet for numerical calculation. Welcome to my Excel spreadsheet for the design and analysis of pile caps by few clicks. Now I am changing all these parameters. Say intermediate pile capacity is zero load reduction zero group efficiency no now instead of increasing the load i'm reducing pile capacity say 425 Look here, maximum number of piles required, 9.198. Now, I'm changing here, 9 pile cap. Design is not OK. Maximum capacity of pile under 101 load case, 425 and also for 102 425 maximum load on file 463 kilonewton and 550 kilonewton now i am increasing the pile capacity for load case 102 allowable increment 25 percent say we are increasing 15 percent not okay 25 percent not okay load detection for opening and live load say it is 10 percent look here in load case 102 it is okay but in case of load case 101 it is not okay difference is 2 kilo newton so i'm increasing here now overall depth, I'm decreasing to one, two, double zero. Not okay. One, three, double zero. Not okay. One, four, double zero. One second. The maximum load on pile increase to 4 to 7 because because self weight increased now we know we can increase this is up to 25 percent when the pile are in group we can increase the pile capacity up to 25 percent so say we are increasing 10 percent for 25 Four two five into one point one is equal to four six seven point five. Say it is four six eight. Look here, design is okay. Now I am accepting group efficiency. Once again, design is not okay. 
we have increased here 20 10 percent now i'm increasing 20 percent 425 into 1.2 is equal to 510 510 in case of seismic load case it is okay but not in 101 load case it is not okay now i'm increasing center to center distance of wire to 161600 not okay uh, now once again i'm increasing uh, pile capacity 25 percent 425 into 1.25 531 say 531 design is not okay load reduction we have considered 10 percent now i'm considering Twelve percent design is okay, and this is our total design calculation. Look here: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine pile here, and load on each pile. under load case load on each pile under load case 101 and 101 and this is the maximum load case maximum load on pile under 101 load case and this is under 102 load case and this is all about my design of pile cap by few clicks part 8 I hope you enjoyed it. Now we can claim your free Excel sheet for the design of two to nine piles cap by few clicks in a single Excel format. To collect Excel sheet, read the instruction in description. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel and also evaluate my performance with your valuable comments. Thank you.